Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here, and then we are into the next day's program on this uh, uh, fusion procurement implementation, and then we are into sourcing now. Fine. So we are now completed a single stage RFQ. Now what you are going to do is we will now begin with the PR. We will now convert that into an RFQ. Then we will now receive the response, and then finally create a P one. So we are going to see the full cycle of it now. How it is being done? They go there, click on it. So let us now go there. <clears throat> so to before beginning, what happens? I am now going to set up four of the approvals automatic now. Right? So let me go on and set up the approvals automatic so that what happens, we'll be able to what happens, do things very fast actually. So four of the approvals, I'm going to make it as automatic actually. What are the So here, go there, the third pillar, I will not go there. I will not take up this one. Right? Manage supplier negotiation approvals, the one. I will now go there and then make it automatic. <clears throat> go there. What is place name? So uh, in this one, I'm not going to do it now. <clears throat> So let me what happens, go on the login and then here we are now going to make four of the approvals automatic action. So let me go on the login. EMP2 is my uh, negotiator actually from the login. I have now given all the powers to him for everything now. So go that click on it. We will now set up the approvals automatic. <clears throat> go there. So click on it. Click on the name and then go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> you go to the setup and maintenance and then make the first approval. Four approvals I am going to make it as automatic action. Click on it and then click on search and find. First is negotiation approval. Right. Once when the negotiation is created, it will not go for approval. I'm not going to make it as automatic. Right. Click on it. This will be made as automatic. Go on and so this is the parallel now. Right. Go there. Click on edit rules and then have a look at it. And go there. So this is the only rule which is applicable actually. The remaining are not enabled. So it is already automatic actually. Right. I already saved and deployed also. Right. Give a cancel. The second one, you're going to have a look at it. Click on that now. Find the second one. Now go there. So this is what negotiation award approvals. We'll now go there, take off it. And the award approvals, I will now make it as automatic. So paste it now. I will now make it. No, no Cassie Brown, no Calvin Roth actually. If and everything is automatic actually. And select it. And then here, or go to edit rules. Click on edit rules. And then here, this is the one enabled now. Not it is already automatic. So second is also automatic. Cancel it. The third one is what manage requisition approvals. I'll now go there. I'll now go to the manage fine rec approval. So we are now having a look at the lick rec approval and right? manage requisition approvals. You know, see that anybody has fiddled around around fine. You know, in the parallel now, fine. Click on the parallel. <clears throat> I'll now click on the edit rules and then have a look at it. So go there. So it's all automatic apply. Fine. This is also automatic actually. Fine. Right? So we cancel. And the next is what document approval. Right? This is a purchase order approval. Fine. Right? So manage document approval is the purchase order. Manage percentage, doc percentage, APP percentage, and then we enter now. Fine. We go to the manage documentation approval. Doc percentage. Fine. <clears throat> approval percentage. So manage document approval, fine, go that one. This also has to be made out automatic. So select it and then click on the edit rules and then have a look at it. Now I click on it. So this is also rule of play, this is also automatic. So all the four approvals are automatic. Now we are ready to test our PR to PO via negotiation action. Any doubts? Good. So click on that. We'll now go on and create our requisition, fine, click on it. We'll now go on and first of all create our requisition. Go there. I will now, what happens, you go there. I will now go to the product management. I will now go to the procurement now. I will now go to the procurement. So I will now go to the procurement. What is procurement? I have to go now. Find EMP two now. Ah, uh, procurement. I have to go now. Go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition. Fine. We will now go and then create our purchase requisition for this. So before you create a requisition, you always go there and then make a check on the update requisition preferences. Fine. Go there. Check on it and then it must be inventory. Fine. Is internal Seattle location. Fine. Inventory and then stores. Okay. Fine. These are all the ones. It's okay. Fine. So he is a requester is going to do it for the US one business unit, fine. So on the stores, I'm going to receive it actually, fine. There is a sub-inventory which will be coming on the requisition itself, fine. Right? Destination must be inventory for testing it actually. Fine. So click on it. So click on cancel now. And then go there. And then click on the more task and then I will now create a requisition for this. I click on the more task. Enter requisition lines I'm going to create. I will now use one of the existing lines now. So A6500 is a famous item which we normally use to test actually. So I'm going to use that item and then create a requisition and then submit for approval actually. <clears throat> So go there. It is what? It is AS65000. AS65000. Now go there. I will now go for 10 quantities. So it is required in the store sub inventory. Find the account and then click on add to cart. And they can now see the charge account is coming because vision is now fully set actually. When go to add to cart, it will be getting added to cart for 10 items. And then we will now use this negotiation route for large negotiations actually. If, there, if you are having a large negotiation, then we'll be using this route actually. So this large negotiation will be using this route. I click on it. And then I will now click on the manage approvals and see whether application developer has to approve. And that is the only thing which has to be there now. 
application developer as well. Then after all, what happens? You know, submit it. So you know, open up a what's called Notepad. Now, fine. There you can see the application developer. Fine. Click on submit. Now, fine. Click on submit. So two zero four one three seven is the one. Sir, I'm open up that one. Notepad. Fine. The PR number. Fine. Two zero four one three seven. So two zero four one three seven is the number. Fine. Is the number. Now what happens? We'll now go to what happens? Our automatic area. Fine. Go there. Click on program. Go there. Go home. So it is now submitted for approval. It'll be going there. I will now go to the purchase orders and then go to the process requisition area. I will now go to the purchase orders and then look at the process requisition area. Fine. Click on it. We will now go to the top now. Fine. The top. Whatever they'll be having a process requisition. Fine. What is the process requisition area? So we'll now query on this requisition number. So fine. What is the number now? The number is what? 204137. <clears throat> go to the process requisition area. So once it is approved, it will be aware of it. Fine. I will now say buyer is not mentioned. They won't find out. So 204137. <clears throat> so drop it down. And then what happens? I will now choose the use on business unit and then make a search. So we are now giving the requisition number. It's a straight away. 1043137. Once when it is approved, it will be landing up on the process requisition area for the process. Now wait for it. Now. Wait, wait for it. So 204137 is the one. 204. 137 of the one. So we wait for some time. So let me pass that. What happens? Sir? We'll now pass that. So the item has come fine. We will now select it now. So here, what happens? Add to document builder. We are going to add to document builder. Select it. And then we will not take a SPO. Fine. Click on the add to document builder. Add to document builder. Here we are going to use our uh, negotiation actually. So click on the add to document builder. Select it and then add to document builder. Fine. Go there. Uh, type is what is okay. Fine. New order only. Here, what happens? The style is not purchase order. Fine, drop it down. No, 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 it should be new negotiation. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. It is a new negotiation. It's very it's a new negotiation. Sorry, new order, right? It is a new negotiation, actually. So type is what? New negotiation. Yes, very good. So type is a new negotiation. Here, what happens? You go there, drop it down. I will not choose my single order. P01 single order. I'm going to choose it now. I will not choose my P01 single order. The negotiation template also will be coming automatically. So here, type is a new negotiation and the negotiation template is coming fine. Well, I click on OK, by which what happens? The negotiation number will be getting created actually. So click on OK. So it will now go into the negotiation actually. <clears throat> so now what happens? The negotiation is now getting created actually. So where is the, how to see the negotiation number actually? Okay. Here, no, 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 you need to click on create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have to create the fine. We have to create the fine. So click on the create. So it has now come into the document area. Fine, click on create, by which what happens? It will be coming. Fine, click on create. It will be creating the new negotiation actually. So once when you click on create, what happens? A new negotiation number. Improvement. So what happens? It knows that 31801 is the number. Fine. So RFQ number. You know, go there. So RFQ. Fine. It is RFQ. <clears throat> right. It is a 31801. So go there. The one. Go there. So click on the overview. Fine. The overview, what happens? We are going to give the date section. The uh, close date we are going to give now. Fine. Go down. So the fixed date. Fine. So when it is going to close. I will not say 20th that is going to close. Fine. Click on it. And afterwards, everything is okay. Fine. We don't. Uh, do any other thing of another one. So title you have to give. Fine. I will say is a P01. Fine. Is a PR. Fine. Two. Uh, what happens? A PR. RFQ. Fine. Fine. Go there. And then PO. Fine. That is the table I am going. So PR. Uh, RFQ. And then PO is the one. Fine. Go there. I will not take a copy. And then put on the synopsis. Also. Go there. I will not go to the requirements. Fine. I will not keep the requirements as such. No. Fine. I am not modifying anything. Fine. Go there. So we have got two things. And then we have team also. Fine. Click on the team and take team. Fine. Go there. Click on the team. And then we have members also. Fine. Go there. Go there. So we have got two things. And then we have team also. Fine. The fin team and tech team. And then we have members also. Fine. All these things are there. Fine. Go there. Everything is there. Click on the lines. Click on the lines. Yes. So click on the lines. I will not go to the lines now. So click on the lines. So here, what happens? I will not add. And the line is already coming because it is now come from what happens? The requisition lecture. And then point is everything is there. So here, I am not adding any what happens? Any cost factors as well as attribute list. Fine. I will not go straight away. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what happens? Edit and then add the cost factors list and attributes. So in this exercise, I am not doing it. Fine. So I will not go to the contract terms. I will not go to the suppliers. Fine. Click on the suppliers. <clears throat> suppliers. You already have three suppliers because of the template is not coming. So, Go there. So we will not publish it. Okay, on that. Upon publishing, it will not get published automatically because the approval is automatic for this. Negotiation approval is automatic. And so what happens? The 31801 will be getting published automatically. So go there. Click on continue because I have not added, attached any, anything on the cover page actually. Then we have to make an attachment. Fine. That is what you are saying. Fine. Click on continue. And then what happens? It will be submitted. So 31801 is now confined. Go there. Click on it. We will not go to what? We will not go, and then go to one more thing. Okay? I will not give a response from for the first supplier actually. We'll now make a response from the first supplier. Fine. Take top of it. Fine. For 10 quantities, we're going to do it. Fine. So click on it. We'll have to give a response from the first supplier. So that will be getting approved automatically. Fine. No problem. Fine. Until now. Don't go there. That will be getting approved. Sir, one question, sir. Tell me. Uh, sir, how these details got populated, sir? The supplier information and technical and... Uh, because of the templates. We have already populated everything on the template, now nah? Because of which it has come. 
So we populated how the template has been attached to the uh, you know yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. everything has been attached. Now, fine. Yesterday's video, you just see when you are putting your source as what P01 single lot of Q. Single lot of Q is having a template. Template is having all the details. Because of just come. The template is having all the days. So single lot of Q is having the template. The template is having all the radius. Got it? Again, watch and then see yesterday's video. It will not give yeah. you. Thanks. So click on supply portal and go there. So here, what happens? You go there. I will not go to the negotiation. It got approved because it is automatic actually. It will not go there. And then click on the negotiation. Mm -hmm. So contract fine go there. And the negotiation is a kind of negotiation. I will not go to the view active negotiation in which what happens? The 31801 has to come. So 31801 is compiled. So click on it. We'll now create a response for it. We'll select it and then we'll now create a response. Click on create a response. So we are now creating a response from the first supplier, actually. So the first supplier is not going to give a response back now. Acknowledgement is required only for what? Only when you're amending it. Otherwise, acknowledgement is not a mandatory. Response valid until we'll now say when it's going to be valid. It will be valid up to six. The validity is now given. We go to the requirements. Now, click on the requirements. And then here, I will now say five. And then here, what happens? You go there. Is yes, actually. And then drop down. And then the technical one, what happens? You go there. And then is yes, and then everything is done. What the Okay. <clears throat> so click on it. And then here uh, is all the fine. So click on it, and then what happens? It will not go to the what happens? The lines region. Fine. Click on the lines region, and then he is going to give a code. Actually. So code. Fine. That. So the response price is now giving you now. Fine. That. So ten point is you now giving a response price of hundred. That's it. So you know, say it is going to be valid up to twenty twelve actually. Boss. So twenty dollars one date. So Promised the delivery date is what twenty dollars is not giving. So, so, not. so everything has been given now. Fine, we are not giving any other thing. So click on submit by which what happens? He has given the requirements as well as what happens. He has now given the lines price also. Fine, click on submit by which what happens? The response will be going over there now. So seven zero one four six is the response. Seven zero one four six is the response. I will not say response. Right? Seven zero one four six. What is the response? So we will now go to the what happens negotiation area and then we will now have a look. Fine, click on. Then I'm going to go to the negotiation. Now have a look at the negotiation. So click on done now. So it's not done now. Now go to the negotiation area. Thank you. Now go to the place. Thank you. Negotiations straight away. Now go to the negotiations. And then go to the manage negotiations. Now click on it. Now go to the manage negotiations. And then have a look at it. So the one want to find the employee. Thank you. Now able to see this request. It is a 31801 is the one. Find for the 31801. So 31801 is the one. Find is active. Fine. Click on it. So 31801 is the one which is active. So we are now looking at 3, 31801 is the one. <clears throat> so go there. So here you will now go to the actions and then what happens? You go to monitor the negotiation. Monitor negotiation. So you now monitoring the negotiation. Fine. You got only one response from the supplier. Scoring is optional. Fine. There is no need to what happens to score it also. Fine. If at all you want to score, what do you do? You have to go to actions and then here go to the manage and then open the open the what happens? You go to go to the manage. And then what happens? You have to uh, you go to the manage now. Click on it. I will have to open the scoring actually. Fine, it is not coming here actually. Uh, you go to actions so and then what happens? Manage is not coming. Fine. Go to the analyze, analyze negotiation, and then afterwards you may have to open the scoring actually. Oh, you have to close first. So only when you close, the scoring will get opened actually. Fine, it will not be open. So we have to close it now. Fine. So only when you close it, it will you'll be possible for you to open the scoring. Fine. Go to the manage now. Fine. Yeah. The open scoring will be coming only when you close the negotiation actually. So let us know. Manage scoring option is also there, right? Where is it? The third one from the right, uh, top. Manage collaboration team, manage scoring. Manage scoring is a scoring team only. If you click on the manage scoring, it is only for team actually. The team can be ma made on. Fine. It is only for team actually. So it is not for scoring actually. Fine. So only when you open the scoring, then what happens? The scorers can respond. So let us now go there and then close the negotiation. Fine, got one response. Fine, go to the actions. And then you go to the manage. And then you know, close the negotiation. Actually, there is the closes coming. So you give it done and then come to the main area. Fine, but here from here, what happens? You go to the manage and then close the negotiation. Fine, the main area onwards, fine, main header, what happens? You go and then close it. So once when you close it, it will now become eligible for opening the scoring. So now closed. So all the participating suppliers will be getting a message. Fine, click on submit now. All the participating supplies will be getting a message that it is now closed actually. The close date has been modified actually. It's all done. So now it's closed actually. The negotiation is closed. He has given a response. So uh, scoring is basically optional. When we can score or we cannot score also. Depending upon the need, you can do it. But if you open the scoring without closing it, we cannot award, remember. For awarding it, if you opened it, you have to close the scoring. Otherwise, what happens? We cannot award. Fine, that is the one thing. So click on that now. <laughs> 
right? So now what happens? You can now see 801 is now when right? you give a search now, it'll be closed actually. The active will be closed. So 801 is what 801 is the one which is closed actually. Now you go there. We have the what happens the capability to open this query. So click on it. Open the negotiation. Fine. So once it is closed, it will not be eligible for doing this query. Fine. You go to the manage. Fine. Open scoring is eligible. So you open the scoring and then get the scoring results and then afterwards close scoring. Only when you close the scoring, you will be able to award. Now I'm not doing the scoring at all. Click on it. I will not go to the award directly. I will not award the negotiation. Fine. Click on the award negotiation. Fine. So depending upon the need, what happens? You have to close. You have to do the scoring also. You know, click on it. I will not award it. You know, select it. Then click on award. I'm going to make an award. Fine. Click on it. I'm not making an award. Go there. Go down now. Fine. <laughs> so this is one. So here, what happens? Is there is only one supplier. I'm not going to the lines area. Fine. I will not select it first of all. If you don't select it, what happens? It will be rejected actually. Fine. It will be the award approval will be rejected actually. If you don't so choose any other suppliers in the award now, fine. If you go to the manager award. And then if you don't choose any of the suppliers, fine. On a closed negotiation, fine. On the closed negotiation, we had to choose a supplier. Remember, the radio button must be on. If there are multiple suppliers, you have to choose one of them. Or in the lines level, we can even choose all the suppliers also. Now in the header level, I'm doing it. Fine. You have multiple suppliers, fine. You have to choose. Otherwise, what happens? The approval will be rejected. One of the students told me, sir, it is getting rejected. What to do? What to do? I'm unable to understand how come it is getting rejected here. <laughs> Approval is automatic and then it is rejected. Oh God. Then afterwards, uh, we sat and then found that what happens? He has forgotten to put this uh, what happens, radio mark in the, in the radio button. He has, uh, we have forgotten to put a thick mark. It is on the production instance, remember. Fine. Bob <laughs> It took more than half an hour for it to debug it actually. So go there, select it and then afterwards give a save and close. Then it will be eligible for approval form. So even without putting it, what happens if the award approval will be coming, when submit for approval will be coming, but if you submit it, it will be getting rejected because there are no suppliers selected. Right? So click on submit for approval. Now what happens if suppliers are you know, getting approved now. So since it is automatic, what happens if you now set up the negotiation approval as, it, as well as the award approval, both are automatic now, fine. The award approval is also automatic, fine. There's no submit. So 31801 also will be getting approved now, fine. Click on it. So then you can say award approval is in progress now, fine. Click on search now, fine. It will now say what happens, award approval may progress. So award approval process. So once it is approved, we will now complete the award and then create a PO. Once the award is completed, what happens? We will now complete the award and do it. <clears throat> so click on search now, fine. We are now going to complete the award and do it. Award approval is in process now, fine. Award approval is in process. <laughs> so we'll now wait for it and then look at it now, fine. So click on search. We have to wait for the award approval to get completed now. Fine. I will know what happens. I'll pass the recording now. So now the record is, they say the, the, the uh, RFQ has got, the award has got approved. So the award is approved now. <laughs> now we'll open up and then complete the award. So the negotiation is also submitted for approval. It is automatic. The award is also submitted for approval. It is automatic. I will not click on it and then let it, let it not complete the award. Now I click on it. I'm not going to complete the award. So click on it. Here what I'm going to go to actions and then go to award and then complete the award. Fine. click on the complete award. Fine. I'm going to complete the award. So we are now completing the award now. Completing and then create the purchase orders document now and then what happens is notify the suppliers also. So click on it. So by completing the award, the requisition, the PO gets created. Right, click on it. The PO will be created. It is not a created, it is now in the process of creating the PO. Award approved, and then the PO creation is in process actually. It will now go to the what? PO creation is in process. So click on okay now. But remember, when you open the scoring, you have to come, you have to close the scoring also. Right? So uh, the award for negotiation is now complete. Actually, the award recommendation was automatically allocated to the requisition demand. Right? It is now it is it is got allocated to the requisition demand. Actually, when award completed, now all of you go there and then I will now initiate the approval. Right? Even the document approval is also on. Right? If you do it, what happens? The PO gets automatically created. Actually, right? total amount is thousand. Right? Select it, initiate approval, and then click on submit now. You are going to submit it. So go there. Three one eight zero one is the RFQ. Right? Click on submit now. Right? By which what happens? It will be done. Right? So click on submit. Now the PO gets created. Award completed. Then what happens? The PO creation will be the status will be PO creation in process actually. You click on complete now. Award approved and then award completed. And then afterwards the PO creation will be in process because you're not initiating the approval. Now you have to go and then receive it now. Right? I will now go there. Right click and then duplicate. Right click and then duplicate. And then we are now going to make a receipt in the gate actually. You we'll now make a gate receipt and then deliver it also. <clears throat> so go there. So go there. One purchase document was created actually. Fine. One purchase document was created. Fine. Go there. Come on. It's not done. So we'll now go over here and then we'll now have a look at the PO. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Sir, how you, how we can control that scoring option you said once we start? If you don't score, nothing will be happening now. If you don't open the score, then there is no need to close the scoring at all. So is there but any set? If you open the score, then you have to close the score. Even without uh, doing any scoring also, we can close. 
Okay, so no specific uh, setup to control it. No specific control. So if you don't open the score, then you cannot you cannot score it. And then if you open the score, even without scoring also, you can close the score. Okay, uh, sir. Yesterday I forgot to ask for sourcing. Do we need to enable any offering? Uh, ah, yeah. offering is not there. Fine. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing. Now, fine, click on it because one of my student told me that he landed up in a problem. Now, fine, I will not tell you what is the problem he was facing. Now, fine. But I am not sure about whether there is a problem or not. Fine, that concept. Now, fine. <clears throat> there is one thing. Fine. I will not go to the configure. Fine. Configure uh, procurement business function. Now. So here, what happens? He was he was getting stuck. I don't know who is the guy now. Fine. I, he told me that he is having a problem. Fine. I told him to do this now. But afterwards, he told me that everything is okay. Fine. Okay. So here, there are four options that are available now. Fine. If you go to the configure to get on business function, there are four options at the bottom now. So there are four options there. So what happens? Display uh, uh, rank in the blind one, and then display what happens? The uh, best price. Fine. Okay. And then uh, what happens? Uh, there is enable uh, negotiation approval, and then enable award approval. Enable negotiation approval and then enable award approval. I think probably this may be the reason for him now. Fine. Who is the guy? He is there. He told that he is not going to approval at all. I told him that you put the, these four tick marks now. And then afterwards, he never replied back. I forgot his name also. So in the configure request the procurement business function, please do these tick marks now. Fine. Enable negotiation approval. Enable our. This has been recently added. We were not there previously. Fine. Display best price and then display ranked in the blind negotiation. These four tick marks, you just do it. So this is also enabled. Fine. All the five, all the five, you better enable. This is also you can enable. Fine. All these things are basically for sourcing, actually. So click on save and close. Fine. That is the one. And then apart from that, there is no special setup in the offering. Actually. In the offering, you don't have any special setup. You don't have no so now what happens? The PO would have got created, actually, by this time. Fine. So you know, purchase our document is what? US 164783 now. It will not get approved also because we are not going to find the US 164, 164, 783, 783, 783, 783. Is, a, is a PO number. Is a PO number. <clears throat> so go there, click on it. Not done. Okay. So it's pending approval. Fine. Click on done. Fine. Click on done. And then come back here and then see now. So click on it. It's now purchase order. Fine. Uh, you know, saying about completed purchase document created. Fine. Completed purchase order document. Fine. So click on done now. <clears throat> it's not completed. So if you go there. So if you go and then make a search, you now fine, click on search 31801, fine, 31801, fine, completed purchase document, completed purchase document created actually. Thank you. Can we see the state of the PO? No, see. If you can see the state of the it will be great actually. <clears throat> okay, click on it, one of us, go there. Uh, Rajesh, we have to go and then see this now. <laughs> <laughs> actions and then what happens? Actions view view view, uh, view and then purchasing document. What happens? Uh, purchasing documents. Fine. Right? So you uh, actions view and then purchasing documents. Fine. Right? Click on the actions view and then purchasing document uh, is open actually. The status is open actually. If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you the view also. If you click on it, it will not show. Actions view and then purchasing documents. You can very well see it now. Fine. Right? It's all complete activity. Everything is now completed. Now, <clears throat> now we'll now go and then receive it actually. Fine. Right? No. So click on it. It's not showing you fine. In this meeting, what up? We'll go there. We'll not go to the receiving now. Fine. Click on it. We'll not go to the supply chain execution, the inventory management, and then we'll go there. So go there. We'll not go to the supply chain ma management. Fine. Go there. Supply chain execution now. Fine. Supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And then inventory management. Fine. Click on the inventory management. So we are now into the inventory management. There we'll now go and then receive this PO now. Fine. Click on it. We'll not go there and then receive it. So click on it. And then we are going to receive it actually. So go there. So go there. I'll now go to the results. Now. Fine. Click on the results. So receive expected shipment is the one fine where we are going to receive it actually. So here, what about the long go and then put the P1 number. It's US 164763. 164783 now. Fine. US 1645783 is the one. I'll now go and then make a search now. Fine. I'm in 001 now only. Fine. And as I need to find selected. And then click on receive now. Fine. So we are going to receive it now. Fine. <clears throat> So we'll know what happens. The straight away delivered is because it's a direct result product. I click on the show result product. It will not show the 10, whole 10 now. It is a direct result product. And so what happens? It will be getting received now. Click on create result. So by which, what happens? The result is now getting created actually. The GRN number will be created. So once it is received, we'll now go to the payables and then create invoice actually. So it is via negotiation rule. If it is a large requisition, then they will be using it via this. 52448. Click on the no, no, it's also delivered actually. Now we'll now go there, go to the payables area, and then we'll now create an invoice for this. So go there. I'll now go to the payables. Go to the payables. 
and then you go to the invoice, there's no pen click on the invoice. I will now create an invoice actually. So click on it. I will now go to the invoice and then what happens? The create invoice. No, I click on create invoice. So number is what? Here's 164783. Here's 164783 is a number. So we'll now create an invoice for US 164783 actually. So go there. Identifying PU. Fine. US 164783. Fine. If you do it, what happens? It'll be coming automatically. Now choose this number. Now. So everything is coming. Business unit supplier. Supply said everything will be coming now. So go there. Everything is coming. I will now put the invoice number as what? 1001. The one. Fine. Go there. All right. The one now fine with that. So I will now match it and then obtain the distribution. I click on the line. Fine. I now want to obtain the distribution by matching it. Click on it. Go. I'll be oh god. The amount one I will now say thousand. Thousand is the amount because there is no what happens. The location based basis taxes may be coming now fine because it is in Seattle actually. So we have to modify the amount actually. So go there. Click on it. So Seattle will be having a location based. So city, county, and state taxes will be coming fine. Ten is available for what happens. The matching actually fine with that. Remember. The, the matching is basically quantity based actually and not amount based. Represented in the amount, but what happens is accrual is always quantity based. Actually. Quantity based. Click on quantity based and then go there. Now coming fine. Click on apply and then click on okay. By which what happens? We have obtained the distribution, line level distributions. So the distribution is about fine with that. So click on save and then here if you go on and see along with the taxes, how much is the amount will not show in the bottom. <coughs> go there, click on it. So go there, go there. <laughs> so it is only thousand. The taxes are not coming. I don't know why it's so. I will now validate it and then see whether any taxes is coming. I will now go to the place. I will now validate. Click on validate whether any taxes is coming or not. Fine. It's not giving a tick mark, but along with the taxes, it may come because it's Seattle actually. Now, fine, Seattle will have definitely have a tax. The system is running taxes basically. So once when you validate, the taxes will be populated on this. Now, fine, the line will be having taxes also. So along with it will be coming. Oh, it's coming fine. 1095 is the one along with all the taxes. Fine. So I'll now modify it now. 1095.00. I will not go there. So 1095.00. So if you give a tick mark, what happened there? Yellow mark will go away now. Fine, click on save. So once you give a say, what happened going? So I will not need validation. I will not again validate. I click on validate. I'm going to validate. So once you validate, what happens? It will not say as validated. <laughs> so we are not getting validated now. So the invoice gets validated now. So if you expand the taxes, it will not show all the taxes basically. Is validated fine with that. So if you click on it, what happens? You know, you get all of information of fine with that. So it is validated, unaccounted, paid now. Fine. We'll know account it also. Fine. Is the accounting is unaccounted, fine with that. Go to the place, fine with that. Postal ledger will automatically account it now. Fine. It will be postal ledger. Invoice actions and postal ledger, it will be accounting it also. <laughs> accounting will be completed now. Then pay, pay, payment is what unpaid actually. Will not pay it also. Any questions on this? No kind. It's a full life cycle of a requisition, actually. <coughs> so it's unaccounted. And then the accounting is happening now. So once it is happening, when it's completed, what happens? It becomes eligible for a payment. And I hope that uh, nobody has uh, done it. Fine. The accounting has been completed, actually. Fine. You can even view the accounting. Fine. Come again, fine. Doesn't matter. If you go there, it is accounted. It's only not paid, actually. Fine. Go there. So you'll now go on and make a payment now. Fine. Come on. You'll now close this. No, fine. Not paid. Go to the invoice actions and pay in full, actually. Fine. Pay in full. You'll now pay it. So if the vision instance, what happens? It will be having everything properly set. If nobody has done it, what happens? It becoming fine. Go to the payment method. So go to the payment method and drop it now. Fine. I will now make it the check now. Fine. Check is okay. Fine. Bank of, Bank of America is a BFO, BOFA is a bank now. Fine. BOFA is available. BOFA is available. And then for which what happens? The payment document is also available ready made in the system actually. Fine. Go there. That is the one. Fine. The payment number is coming automatically. Fine. Click on submit by which what happens? The remit to account is okay. Fine. It's not a mandatory one. So click on submit by which what happens? It will be getting paid also. Now, what about the error is coming? Oh, God. Invoice actions and then painful. The remit to is also has to be given or what? Not sure about it. It gives the error now. <clears throat> so, payment method is what you go there. Drop it down. I'm going to make a check. And then here, what do I go there? The BOFA and then remit to account will not go there. No, drop it down. And then see, search is not coming at all. So, click on search. Nothing is coming. So, check may not be a problem. I don't know. Use some other thing you now. Uh, electronic, let me choose now. Fine, click on electronic because all these things needs what happens. Uh, the setups and the payables actually, and also saying 
So, okay. I will now make a check only. If I check is the normal one, actually. And go up. And then the payment document is also coming in. Okay. So, check stock A, fine. The one, okay. Go okay. I will now make the payment number one number increment. Sir, Seven. go and check on the supplier level. What is the check payment method? Huh? Because yesterday you selected some uh, some payment with a different payment with pay something name. Not check. Not the check. No, fine. Go there. Payment method is not check actually. Can drop it down. No, no. no. You have selected. In, go to supplier, sir. Supplier. You can see the what is the supplier level. What is the payment method is enabled. Ah, uh -huh. they selected some weird names or some like pay something big name was the not check one. It okay. was not checked. Right click and then duplicate. Now find the logo there. What's called the supplier area and then how will it be? There you make it as a check and you can know. Uh, but if you click on it, no see it's not check. Now go there. Go to the what's called the, the procurement. Now find go to the procurement. <clears throat> then I go to the procurement. I go to the suppliers. No, I go to the suppliers. And then query my P01 sub one actually. Okay. One space we do it. I will not go to what? Uh, manage suppliers and then P01. P01 underscore sub underscore one. Mm -hmm. Make a search and factor on search. I'm searching for it. I go there. I will not go there and then click on the hyperlink of it. So I will go to the sites directly. <clears throat> and then here, what happens? I go there and then click on edit. Sites, I'm editing it. So I will now go to the payments part of it. Okay, click on the payments part. So here, what happens? I'm now making one of the payment methods. I will now so make check as, a, check, no, check as a payment. This one, I will now make it as a default, actually. Check as a default payment. Click on save now. And then if you go to the bank accounts and things, that we are not given. Okay. Check mm -hmm. the default. Sir, can you go on the header level of the supplier payment? Uh, the level. Huh? What I, where exactly I have to go now? The header level, nothing is there now. Right? So, okay, no? You want to have, go to general or what? Yeah, yes. No, cancel, cancel. Just cancel the screen. Cancel. Save and close. I will not give a save and close now. Save I already done. Now I have made check as a default payment method now. Check as a default payment method. <clears throat> then uh, profile. Go to profiles. Go to the profiles. No point. Go to the profiles. And then comes your payments is there, no? Bottom. Right side. Yeah. Yeah. Here also we have one of them as a payment. No point. See here it is enabled bank or something. Okay. Yeah, default. This I will yes. not make it the default. No point. No yes. make it. See, yeah. Okay. Now it works. Thank you. Click on save and close. Okay. So you make the payment method as check in uh, with the header level as well as on the sites level. Okay. Right. Right. We'll go there and then we'll make a payment. Okay. Painful. No right. Close and. Oh, re-query. Re no? Yeah, it's a re-query oh, no. invoice. Re-query invoice. Thank you. Cancel. Okay. No, re-query invoice. So go there. Click on it. I will not go to the manage invoices. I will not go to what? Manage invoices. Click on the manage invoices. And then yeah, invoice number is what? 1001. 1001. And then make a search. Okay. Click on search. So we are searching for a So there are two numbers are coming. This is ours. Okay. Site one is the one. Okay. Click on it. Painful. Keep painful. Where the tab is there? Here is the we can. So you say let's say we can make a painful. Fine. Click on pain directly. So go there. So payment method. What? Don't drop it down. I will not make it a check now. Fine. Check. Then go there. Bank account is what? Bofa. Remit account come No, no, no. It is a payment account. That you go payment account. No need. Not required. Okay. Payment document. You go there. I will not make it a check stop. No submit. Now click on submit. Now fine. No see. It should not fail it. Ah, oh, God, it's again a ring out. <laughs> it doesn't show me the error actually. Now, what is None, sir. The approval is not required for the invoice after validation. Oh, oh, oh. okay. We'll not see. We'll uh, no, uh, force approval actually. Fine. No, sir. One minute, sir. It's not required. Setup is not there. Not required, sir. Status C. At the right side, you can see the status. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's the cancel if you cancel it. Okay, fine. Query the invoice, sir. One second. So Setup is not there. Approval. That's why, it is the, that's why it went to validation. 1001 fine click on search no fine click on search see yeah. right side see sir approach status not required no approval uh, is required approval status is not required actually not required. The, but the payment is not happening means uh, maybe some issues yeah. so go there click on it no no, no it's not painful well, anyhow what happens you know click on approval and say no, because <laughs> <laughs>
it will now initiate the approval actually thank you sir no it will be hang sir it will not status not changing no sir status should be changed to initiated on search no thank you on search yeah. status no. still uh, not required not required <laughs> yeah not so yeah. setup is not there setup is not there hmm samajh me nahi raha fine finance is very difficult or what <laughs> Uh, how could there could be same number for the invoice thousand one thousand one? No, this is a sum of the thing. No, different supplier. Somebody else also has used the same number, not you. Your no, wife, a... free wife, or only wife, but they are different. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't get you. Actually, I didn't get you. So this is a supplier and this supplier side, and then uh, what happens? Uh, they have used also the same number in it. Fusion is allowing for uh, different suppliers, same yeah, different number. Same number. Fusion is uh, this function is there. EBS is not unique. Right. It's not unique, actually. It's not unique. Setup process there. We can enable the setup to have different different oh, supplier, same number. Oh God! Yeah, that setup is also there. So we are unable to what happens? Uh, complete the payments. Not, what happens? We'll not go there and then have a look at the life cycle of the requisition. We'll not go there. So after having done this, what happens? You cannot wait, wait. go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition. We will not have a look at the life cycle of the requisition. So go on, go on, click on the hyperlink of the requisition and then right hand side you can now see the life cycle actually. <clears throat> So line life cycle is the one thing. Click on it; it will be coming up. Fine, line life cycle will be coming. The line life cycle will be coming. I click on it. It will not show everything on the particular request because requester is the ultimate authority, and then he has to know what has been done on this. Fine, go ahead. Line life cycle is saying fine. I want to go there. So here the shipments. Fine, the shipments also has to show me. I don't know why it's not showing me. Fine, the receipts is not showing you. Fine, the shipment is basically A as an actual. If there is any A S N or A S B N, it will not show here. The receipt is no made. Fine, it's the receipt number. So if you click on the hyperlink or the receipt number, fine, go that on it. It will not show you. So it has been received by this number. The receipt number, GR number is there. Fine, go that. So GR number, everything is there. And the lines are there. Fine, go that. Everything is not showing. And then here, what happens? You can also see everything on this number. Receipt date, everything is there. View transaction history. If you click on the view transaction history, that person can see everything on this. Go on, expand it. Whatever he has, whatever the people on behalf of him has done, fine, go that. Receive and then deliver it. Expand it. Fine. Now deliver also. Fine. Now deliver to the stores also. Fine. You can now see all the transaction details coming on. And then the bottom, what happens? You can now go and then click on done now. <clears throat> you can go there. So in the invoices, what happens? You can now see the invoice number. Fine. One thousand dollars invoice. Fine. Click on it. You can now see the invoice which has been created for the requisition actually. Fine. The receiving agency invoice people. Everybody is a service provider for the requester actually. So this is the invoice now. Fine. Is not So it's all coming now. Fine. Everything is coming. And then if you go there, the status will be unpaid actually. <clears throat> Somewhere to be saying it was unpaid actually. Uh, the county, there are all taxes which are applicable on this. Not that. So, if you go to the payments, it is basically not paid actually. It is unpaid. No way. Initially, we made a, what happens a, this payment method, and so that has got registered, and so what happens it is not coming at all. That is the reason. The payment, even though we changed it, what happens it has already got registered actually. Bank, bank, giro, fine, bank giro. If you choose it, I think probably it may work. No, fine. No, see. Uh, if, if you go to the invoice and we remove this payment uh, method to check, it will accept. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, fine. No, see, if you go there, you know, yeah. then whatever they know, go and then change it. No, fine. I will not yes. go to the payables. No, fine. Click on the payables. Yes. And that is the reason that they're not getting paid. No, fine. No, that is it. I think. Go to the invoice and then query for the invoice and then edit it. No, fine. Click on it. Fine. Go there. So I will not go to the what? Manage invoices. Manage invoices. Manage invoices. 1001 is the invoice. No, fine. Invoice number is 1001. Fine. Go there. So click on search. No, fine. We are searching for it. And then no, edit it. So initially, what happens, you should do it very properly, actually. Select it and then click on it now. We'll try to renew, remove the, what happens, this one. <clears throat> so how to remove this, now? go to the invoice actions, fine, go there. Validate, now play. In the payment. Oh, sir, uh, lines, lines, lines. Lines. Click on line, left side, left side, that one. Left side, left side, now, yes, that one. Expand the line. Expand it and uh, distributions. Uh, so click on the details, if I click on the details, and see, now, I click on the details. So click on the details of that. So context value is no, no, that is the DF. That is DF. That is the DF of okay. uh, yeah, that is so this is here only says here you have no distribution tab and distribution preferences, reference, reference tag. Click on the distribution. Sir. I will not click here. There is oh, in this one. Uh, click on the distribution tab. Fine. Click on the distribution tab again. It will take here. Uh so one more thing. If you go to actions, actions tab, here on action stop, invoice actions. Invoice actions. Right now. side here. Invoice actions. Manage installment. This one, sir. Manage installments. Manage installments. Ah ha ha. Here, manage up top, 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 top. Manage installments, the top. Here you can see the check or bank group is there something. So click on. Is is there? So this one you remove the bank group. 
uh, what is called pay group is standard no no, no sir bottom bottom payment method is there bottom fine uh, no just middle 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 of the page middle of this one uh, right right sir 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 right sright sir right 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 sir
those who try to put the uh, whatever the india time will understand it's now 12 minutes from now i'll be back in about 12 minutes now. Believe me.